What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read Delta State openly disgraced Vice President Osibanjo today after making this allegation against him. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click that bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. All right, here are the news in, de in details. The Delta State Government has reacted to report that Vice President Yemi Osibanjo appointed the State Governor Ifani Okowa to head a subcommittee on COVID-19. According to a statement made available to Politics Nigeria, signed by Jackson Egungu, Communication Manager for Delta State Government House, Okowa was not appointed to any subcommittee, the statement read. Our attention has been drawn to the above title story, which has been circulating in the national news media and social media for some days now. Consequently, there have been an avalanche of comments, inquiries, and goodwill messages from well-meaning Nigeria regarding this appointment. His Excellency Senator Dr. Ifan Okowa is mindful of the earnest desires of Nigerians for life to return to normal as quickly as possible. However, it has become necessary to set the record straight and correct the wrong impression that has been created by this story. It is not true that Governor Okowa was appointed to head a subcommittee on post-COVID-19 economic growth. The National Economic Council, NEC, headed by Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, recently created a subcommittee chaired by Okowa to work stroke layers with the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 on the process of lifting the national lockdown and reopening the economy. It is pertinent to point out that this is a normal practice of NEC. The, the body has always set up subcommittee to deal with pressing national issues and therefore not something deserving of media feeding frenzy. The media and public are please requested to take note of this clarification and take appropriate steps to stop the misinformation. Meanwhile, Governor Kowa enjoins Nigeria to continue to pray for divine intervention to resolve the current health crisis even while they maintain the necessary safety protocols and guidelines all right um the delta state government has outrightly denied uh vice president yemi osibanjo on his purported appointment of governor okowa of delta state into the post covid 19 you know a uh, subcommittee you get so and this has raised a lot of question and people are asking because this has this is okowa the governor of of delta state outrightly coming out to deny that he was not appointed into any, any committee so the question nigerians are asking who appointed governor okowa you understand me into the post covid 19 you know subcommittee you know this post covid 19 subcommittee is a committee it is under national executive council and this national executive council is one of the office as defined by the constitution that is actually run by the vice president you get those were actually defined for him to run but the problem here is that who actually made that appointment and where was you know the letter of appointment actually appointing him into that office who did that before they appoint you normally the vice president calls you he calls you and then you know but nigerians are asking who did the appointment and this has further opened up a can of worms you get on certain conspiracy theory that have been making the round in the country you get that vice president yemi osibanjo is nowhere to be found in fact, some people even said that, yeah, some people even said, some people even said that he is dead. You get that he is dead and that he is no more. That the COVID nineteen that actually struck at a rock took them on away. That they they are dead. You know that COVID nineteen that actually struck as a rock, that actually saw to it that Abakari died. 
you get me and then uh some people said not only about carry was was dead some other people were equally dead but they hid it you get even there is even a rumor that even the chief of army staff is late that his own mother's burial that he did not attend his mother's burial and people say it was because of the shock that that uh, that that was occasioned by the death of the chief of army staff that caused the mom to die and that is why in that is mom's burial the chief of army staff was not there so there are a whole lot of you know conspiracy theory that is begging to be answered we need clarifications on these things but however you know when there is no clarification on a particular issue we resort to what conspiracy theory you get people begin to live on rumor but these rumors are gathering momentum they are gathering they are gathering momentum by the day like for instance now look at this delta state government coming out outrightly to deny and this is a disgrace to the office of the vice president it's a disgrace because you never appointed this person and you went on media to announce that social person have been appointed to head a post covid 19 subcommittee so it's a disgrace that's why the government of delta state has to come out to clarify this issue because according to governor Kowa, he said that people were beginning to send in goodwill messages congratulating him and all of that and to him he has to put the record straight that outrightly it is not so you get so that is it so there is a serious problem in the country right now as i speak to you you are you get people see this covid 19 to be a pure scam it's a scam you get based on what people who happen to come in contact with uh, the isolation center have said most people who were actually admitted to the isolation center said nothing was wrong with them most of them are slight headache when once they go to test they go to hospital for tests you get they they are discovered to have you know covid 19. most of them were picked up because they believe they had contact with those who had the covid 19. they were picked up and on the invest uh, on, on testing the squad that they have covid 19. you get i did a video on uh isolation center where the patients are actually crying that they want to go back home that nothing is wrong with them so you check out that video and then you see a lot of lies, a lot of lies being exposed. And then you also see again, to so remember Doc Bessie, Doc Bessie is the AIT uh, chairman, is the AIT of, you know, of AIT. The man came out and said that, you know, he was sick. He was, he tested, according to a report, he tested positive to COVID-19. He was put in isolation and he said during that period of time, he was only given malaria tablets. And so he was wondering, what is the relationship between COVID-19 that is said to be a virus and, you know, and malaria tablets? So he was wondering, and, and do you know that because of what he said, uh, that actually brought him in a very serious confrontation with NCDC and the federal government. And that actually made um, Dr. C to reach an agreement with them. He pulled out the video from AIT you know, and asked them not to air it again. But uh, that aside, you get well, So what we are looking at today is the office of the vice president. You get So what do you think? Do you think that something is wrong recently, recently not long, Arewa Youth Forum, Arewa Youth uh, Decent Forum raised an alarm. They asked Femi Adesina to, to resign if he cannot tell the whereabouts of President Buari and Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. That is what Arewa Youth, Arewa Youth said. And then again, Yoruba Afenifere raised an alarm. They said, where is our son? They are asking for the whereabouts of their son. So, guys, something is totally wrong. Namdekano alleged that the virus that invaded Asorok actually wiped out, you know, Asorok. It totally wiped out. Everybody were on the run. Everybody were on the run. Asorok was virtually empty. It was a ghost town. So that's what Namdekano said. You know, sometimes when Namdekano make this allegation or make this revelation people see him to be 
a psychological imbalance that he is not okay and all of that but if you look at what he's saying it, 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 there is level of truth to what he's saying like for instance now are you guys aware that Buari have just I did a video on that you check there's a video on that Buari have ordered a complete cancellation of all of Abakari's projects memos contract you know an appointment he has virtually just cancelled all of them and Nigerians are asking Okay, you cancel it. Where were you when Abakari was making all of this contract, was signing all of this contract without your approval? And remember the National Security Advisor with the face off he had with Abakari, the revelation he made us at then was that Abakari was overstepping his boundary and was making presidential decisions. Decision that is only meant for the president. That was what Babagana Mongono, the NSA, said last year and people didn't take him serious today Vari have ordered a complete cancellation of all of abakari's you know endorsements contract memos and appointment and so this is bringing a new revelation people are beginning to come to knowledge something is wrong people are beginning to wake up and to see the handwriting on the wall so what do you guys think I want you to drop your comment below. Do you think that Osibanjo is late and that if Delta State government could come out to disgrace him that he did not issue out any appointment to Governor Okowa of Delta State, then who made the appointment? I want you guys to drop your comment below. Let me know. And before you leave, please do make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit that red subscribe button. You can also follow us on, on Instagram and also Twitter. The handle is in the description below to get the latest news and update. Thank you very much. God bless you.